everyone's going to pass away soon, so what's the point? What did you have for breakfast? A uh, uh, bagel. So you eat this bagel, right now this work is going on, the bagel is becoming a little girl. Suppose I could take a bagel in my hand and make it into a human being, who would you think I am? Must be the source of creation, isn't it? But you are doing it, you're making a bagel into a human being, you're really fantastic. Stop, wait a minute. Agna, yes, I agree, you are fantastic. But not because you can eat a bagel, digest it and use it to fuel your body. Anything can digest a bagel. A monkey can digest a bagel. A dog can digest a bagel. A rat can digest a bagel. Even ants can digest a bagel. Do you think, Agna, that a dog or a rat is as fantastic as you? I don't think so. Don't get me wrong, digesting a bagel is amazing, but do you even know how it fully works? You don't have that ability on your own. It was given to you, to you and to me and to all of us, given by our Creator, the one who actually took some dust from the ground and made a human being, which is not the same as digestion. So Agna, you're not fantastic because of digestion, but you are fantastic because of something else. You see, you can do something that animals cannot do. What is it? I'll explain. You see, God didn't give animals an intellect which they can use to seek God, their creator. Animals don't have a spirit, which is why they can't pray to God, who is spirit. The animals don't think about what happens after death, and they don't ask this smart question that you've asked, what's the point? But there is something even more fantastic that the animals cannot do, that you can do if you choose to reach higher toward God. Sadhguru thinks you're special because you can digest a bagel. I think you're special because you can choose not to digest your bagel. What do I mean by that? If you have two monkeys that are really hungry, say they didn't eat for a couple of days, and you put just one tiny piece of bagel in front of them, they will fight over it. They only want to satisfy their body's appetites, to make the hunger go away, to make their stomach feel full, full of food. Their stomach is their god. But if you were hungry and a person next to you who dislikes you is also hungry, you could choose to leave that tiny bagel so that the other person could eat it. This is called sacrifice. Because you have a special spirit that God gave you, you can choose to sacrifice something or even sacrifice yourself for the sake of somebody else, even if that person hates you. That's called love. You could choose to give your enemy your own life so that person could live. This is love at its peak. Animals cannot sacrifice themselves for other animals of competing tribes. Yes, Agna, you are fantastic. Your creator, the only true God, is love itself. And love, or God, came down to the earth as a man named Jesus Christ, who is also called the Son of God. And why did he do that? If you've ever done something bad like lie or steal or yell at somebody or hurt somebody, this separates you from God because he is good and doing things that are bad separate us from good, from God. And it separates us from life because he is the giver of life. So that makes us dead in spirit. But because he loves you, he doesn't want you to be dead, so he decided to die instead of you so that you don't have to die but can live forever. Then he rose from the dead after three days, because he is, after all, God and above death. He died for you and me to show us what love is. He didn't want to tell us what it is, but to show us what it is. This is what makes you fantastic, Agna. You are so fantastic and special that God himself died for you. He sacrificed himself for you. Even though he didn't do anything wrong, he was treated unjustly, unfairly, for you. He bled for you. He was bruised for you. He was spit upon for you. He was mocked for you. He was nailed to a piece of wood for you. If you love him back by believing in him and following him, his blood will clean you from anything wrong you've ever done. I want you to do me a favor and read about this great God, the true God, to see what I'm talking about for yourself. What do you have to lose by reading? If you don't have a Bible, you can read online. Start with a book in the Bible with the title, John. It's only 21 short chapters. After that, if you want to know more, call the Orthodox Church that is closest to where you live. I hope someone shows you this video one day when you're older. God bless you.